What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com, part of the Blue Wire Podcast Network. My name is Jeff Spiegel, joined today by Blake Williams. Blake, th there's a lot of positivity around the Dodgers pitching staff right now because of what Bobby Miller has done and just the fact that Gavin Stone is up. But before Bobby Miller took the mound the other day, there was some bad news that came out. Fabian Ardaya of The Athletic reporting on Dustin May. We knew he was injured. Reports coming out, he won't even pick up a baseball for six weeks. He suffered the injury last Wednesday. He got a PRP injection on Monday. The scan, the next scan is in six weeks, and then they will figure out if he can start throwing. You and I have joked that we don't trust the Dodgers to tell us the truth about anything. Dave Roberts said he thought he would be back in four to six weeks. Apparently, he's not even going to touch a baseball for that higher number. This is bad news, though, for the Dodgers, obviously. Yeah, it puts them in a tough spot. They're relying on two young pitchers, as you mentioned, with Miller and Stone coming up. They're relying on Noah Syndergaard in more a bigger role now than we all hope for. And I don't think anyone's going to make any case defending him or saying he's going to be the savior of the team. Julio is hurt right now, too. We don't know how that's going to be. They're hopeful it's going to be 15 days and then he'll be back. But as you already said, the Dodgers lie about injuries. So yeah. we don't really know what's going on there. So essentially, you're relying on Tony Gonsolin and Clayton Kershaw to carry the team, the team's rotation right now. And that's there's just a lot of variables. And when you lose one of your top pitchers, it's going to hurt. Well, at least those two guys have a, just a sterling injury history themselves. No reason to worry about. Oh, no, wait, never mind. That's not true. We forgot to mention, too, Ryan Pepio, who was the team's number, what, six starter coming into the season. Uh, was expected to make the opening day roster because Gonsolin was hurt. He's out until at least the all-star break with an oblique injury. So lots of sort of moving pieces. Michael Grove is back in the equation. So some combination of those young guys will hold down the fort while May is out, while Urias is out as well. For Dustin May, um, we know the story. He missed a bunch of time with Tommy John surgery, obviously. Now he's got an elbow strain. They said scans revealed that there was no tear. It's hard, Blake, not to let my mind wander to a place of how bad could this actually get if he's not even picking up a baseball for six weeks? Best case scenario feels like two and a half months until we see this guy, and that's if everything comes back perfectly in six weeks. Yeah, it's really concerning. As you mentioned, Like it's probably going to be two months or longer, and when you lose a pitcher of that caliber, it's just tough to fill in, and then for May specifically, like it's it's concerning because he's had that Tommy John surgery before and he's dealt with some injury troubles and yeah it's just never ideal for any pitcher and especially one who's had that injury problem in the past yeah just 15 starts since coming off of that Tommy John injury for Dustin May and, and already back we've talked about in other videos the report that he was experiencing soreness throughout the entire rehabilitation process throughout the buildup apparently all through last year the offseason and into this year um, clearly, it wasn't affecting him because he was really, really good. Um, but with pitchers like this, Blake, there's the short-term fear of when will he be back for the Dodgers this year because they need him. As we pointed out, counting on Kershaw and Gonsolin to stay healthy feels like wishful thinking, to say the least. And behind them, it's Syndergaard and two rookies who have made a total of three starts combined right now. Um, but long-term for Dustin May, it's you start stacking elbow injuries, even if they're not tears like this in this case for a guy who throws as hard as he does. I, I don't know. I mean, like I, I'm not, I'm not trying to project out for the rest of his career and say, give him a label that he's never going to be able to shake, but it's hard not to, to go to a place of man, is, is this going to be a, a what if type of situation, a guy with such nasty stuff that just can't seem to stay healthy and stay on the field. Yeah, it's a fair point to make. I'm not going to be the one to make that point yet. I'm not a doctor. I don't know exactly what's going on with his elbow or any of the troubles he's experiencing there, but it is definitely concerning, and you don't want to see those elbow injuries specifically. I mean, the shoulder and the elbow are like the two problems pitchers have that are the most common when in their arm, and those are the ones you want to avoid too. So with just any young pitcher or any pitcher, it's just the case you want to avoid. So yeah, him keeping to stack those up all the time, it's just not what you want to see. 
2019, he makes his major league debut across three levels. That year, he makes 24 starts with an additional 10 relief appearances. So that, that's a full load for a guy like Dustin May. 2020, stayed healthy the whole time, Throws makes 10 starts for the Dodgers, 56 innings, obviously a shortened season there. 2021, just five starts before he goes and has Tommy John surgery. Last year, he made five starts at AAA before getting called up. He made six starts at the major league level and now nine starts. So I guess it's really 20 starts since coming back, but just something to monitor with a guy like Dustin May. That's as a couple, obviously Tommy John surgery wipes out a lot of that. You could argue 2019 and 2020, he was healthy in both of those seasons. So hopefully that, that is sort of the story. He made 23 starts in the minor leagues in 2018, 24 and 2017. So hopefully this is just a blip on the radar. Hopefully it's just a little bit of a setback and not a major problem, but something to keep an eye on with Dustin May. As always, we appreciate you joining us here on Dodger Heads. That's Blake Williams. My name is Jeff Spiegel. Check out DodgerBlue.com for all the latest, and we will see you soon. As always, go Dodgers.